Hello there, I'm Nigel Mill. Welcome back to another episode of Greed Fall. Last episode, I stopped the coup d'etat from happening, and I died quite a lot if I remember. <laughs> I hope I didn't remember that unfortunate incident. But right now, I'm continuing with the side quest. I left investigating the theft of the tablets of St. Matthias for another episode because I wanted to warn Constantine about something, I think it was. So I'm back. I don't know which episode it was that I began doing this, so I'm sorry I cannot say that uh, say well what episode it was. But you know, watch uh, watch the other videos if you want. They're pretty good, I guarantee you. Maybe they're funny, maybe they're not. Who knows? You decide. All right. Shh. Ah. Can I break these? No, I cannot. Maybe it's on the other side of this uh, house. I thought it was on that house. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Yeah, it was on the other side. <laughs> oh well. Anywho, let me barge in here. Don't mind me. What is in here? What is this? The evidence. <gasps> There's only one entrance, and the door shows no evidence of a break-in. Are you sure? This priest, Virgil, said that the night was calm. So calm that he probably fell asleep. So, the thieves only had to take the key from him. It's very likely it's that true. that's what happened. But someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. You think that the one who told them is in this village? We know exactly. That this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village. Family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who's close to the exiles and enough about the researchers to inform them. Hmm. Might I see behind the bookcase? No, this, no. No weak spots? How about the roof? Like I said, well, there's a window. There is a second floor. Maybe. Okay. Maybe they did sleeping pills on the guard or something? If I remember, I still have some sleeping pills in my inventory. <laughs> so, maybe it was me. <gasps> what a scandal. Alright, maybe I should question... Uh, everybody here. If you are saying that these tablets bear writings from the very hand of our holy founder, then we must find them. Okay. Without them. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they will they will be of no importance to me right now. Oh, natives, look at that. How is the uh, is the uh, oppressing rule of these a holes? Huh? Good. I hope so. So yeah. Huh. I, I, I don't know what to expect in this side quest. There's so many possibilities that could happen. So, I'll hold my tongue for now. You have returned on all Manawi. Yes, I have. Do you need something else? Yes. Talk to him about the stolen tablets. I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They hey, must have taken a... the tablets, with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. That's exactly right. Try to get him to... Well, do you know something? I, w I was gonna say, hey, Desarde, you're kinda jumping into it a little bit too far. Maybe you should uh, slow down. But, anywho, try to get him to talk. 75% chance. Well, I have not been lucky with these... Uh, speed checks as of lately, so God be with me on this one. <laughs> you do well to tell me what you know Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have. How do you think they will interrogate you? You're probably right The Inquisitors would come back and My people would suffer. I do not want to break the peace that I did all I could to make I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindual. Vindual. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. Ah. If she's helping the priests, 
Why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. He is filled with anger and fury. I see. If you go talk to her, please do not hurt her. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. Yeah, definitely. I have no intention definitely. of hurting her. Definitely but not. But things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. Yeah, maybe not. I have to go. She like so many. Okay, spare me your scorn. Okay, so... Yeah, the son is like a loose cannon. Maybe a tempered teenager. Who knows? So, I don't know what will happen. But, definitely, this is nothing for anyone to die for. No way. The tablets are just things. You know, they're, they're not really important things. So, they're not gonna obliterate the whole world or anything. So, yeah, nobody has to die over this. Nobody. Anywho. Uh... Well then, oh! I expected you to be outside of the village, but here you are. Greetings. Are you Vindwal? Bird tier to mud. Yes, that is me. What do you want? I... Ask about Lair. What can you tell me about Lair, your former leader? He is a man of peace. Some people dislike him, not me. Everything he did, he did to save the village. But I think the Moind Shakers made him forget what we are. Well, he almost speaks like them now. Not really, he has some uh, really bad pronunciations. Anywho. Yeah, he did what he had to do because of these a-holes behind me with the with the pointy hats and everything. I'm not talking about you. Go 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 to your posts. I'm talking about them. <laughs> Listen, I know you helped the exiles to steal the tablets of Saint Matthias. No. This is not true. It wasn't me. Ah. There's no point in denying it. I know you did it for your son who had to leave the village. If you know that, then you know that I don't have the tablets. So what do you want from me? To know where they are. Uh, tell her that her help would allow the thieves to be spared. The only means of alleviating the situation with Teleme is to give the priests their tablets back. So if you do not want your son to suffer their wrath, it would be best if I could retrieve them discreetly. Uh, Bran and the rest of the Exoils are hiding in the woods, beyond the Stone Circle. I see. If you want to take the tablets away from them without being seen, do not take the part on the left. Huh. It is riddled with traps. Oh, that's bad. And please, do not hurt my son. Nobody has to die. Nobody. So... 300 meters away. Okay, so where is it on the map? Did I go there before? Yes, I have gone there before. So don't take the easy path on the left. Hey, that looks like a... Like a, like a, like a frowny face. <laughs> does that look like a frowny face to you? It does for me. Anywho, yeah, I'll be over there. I, I will promise not to kill any of them. Because if I mess up, I will just reload the save and easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's not cheating. It's part of the game. I don't, I don't, I don't give a rat's ass about if you say, oh, it's an exploit or something like that. But it's in the game, so it doesn't matter. It's in the game, so it's fair game. That's what I always say. Alright, I've made it to the frowny face. I am probably gonna go... Here's the place that Vindwal indicated. The exiles must be near. These people have been banished already. There's no need to add death to their list of punishments. No. Let's try not to fight them. Definitely. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. Shh. Remember that we were told the area Shh. on the left was a Shida. It would be smarter to take the other path. I get it. Siora. Shh. Do 
you wait? What are you doing here? I'm not here to fight you, but I must retrieve the tablets of Saint Matthias. What? How do you know we have them? And how? Not for thee. We will not give them back! We lost our homes and families, so the priests lose their sacred stones! What the hell just happened? Did I run too much? What the hell just happened? Talk about his mother. 75% chance. I know that you are seeking vengeance, but the priests will not be the only ones to suffer the consequences of your actions. Your mother helped you, and once they find out about it, she will pay the price in your place. Is that what you want? No. She only told us which night we could come. They have no right to punish her for this. They I won't. doubt the Ordo Luminous will care. They will need someone to take the blame, and she's the obvious choice. Very well. Take the stones and leave. All that's left to do is to rejoin the Donea Exregal. All right. What just happened? Did I screw up? I mean, they were going to be here anyways, but... I convinced him. I convinced him, but what was it inevitable? Was that a essential cutscene or something? Because I I think I messed up because I ran too much, but I did not see anybody close to me to notice. Anywho, pick up. There they are. God damn it! I put them all in my pocket. All of them. In my pocket. So... Yeah, I got spotted here. But it... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore, because... I have the tablets, I convinced them to not be violent, and I'm probably going to... Whoa. What are you doing here? Oh, he was worried for my son. Oh, he wanted hey. to make sure that everything was for you. I promise. Don't worry, all is well. I managed to convince him to give me the tablets. Adlor Edar. Oh, he did not believe my son to be so reasonable. You are giving me hope. Good. Oh, you will go see him and tell him to find another clan. A place to welcome him. Nice. Good thing native's reputation one. <laughs> Do I need any more reputation? What the hell? What? When did this change? The uh, Bridge Alliance is suspicious, Delame, Coin Guard, Nauts. All of them are suspicious. What the heck? I know that this is like neutral. But. What? At least all my relationship levels are. I mean, my companions are above neutral. I treat them well. Anywho. The natives are friendly, and the congregation of merchants, obviously, I'm the one that represents them, are friendly. So I need two things, to be uh, on the good side of the bridge and on the good side of Telemi. Maybe a little less on the Telemi, because they are a-holes, but yeah. Uh, to end this war, you know, to make peace. That's what I am aiming for. Neutrality. Yes, that's what I'm aiming for. Why not? You sons of bitches. You're dead. Hey, I leveled up, look at that! Ow! God damn it, I don't I never know what moves they're gonna make. How dare you! Leave the padre alone. Hey, leave Siora alone, you bitch! You're fighting me now. Oh yeah. I think I leveled up to the extent that these guys are becoming easier and easier to take care of. Their attacks are still erratic, but 
Not erotic. Erratic. You heard me. You heard me right. Erratic. Erratic. So yeah. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I, I would really like to say erotic also, but no. <laughs> Not this time. Okay, so... Yeah, they're becoming a lot easier to take care of. I don't know why. I had a lot of trouble with them in the past, so yeah, their movements are unpredictable and that's what gets me off. Like, that's what keeps me off my guard. I retrieved your relics. Finally! Thank you. Thank you immensely. Thanks to them, we will be able to continue our research on St. Matthias. Uh -huh. I am curious to know who is responsible for this theft. The culprit must be brought to justice. No. I do not want to point the finger at anyone. You have your relics back, and that's the only thing that matters. That's the your only thing that matters. Your indulgence honors you. But how can we be certain that these thieves will not strike again if they are not punished? They won't. A good start would be to keep a better watch on the priceless treasures that you find. Had that you was respected all your fault. this village, you would not have to look for a culprit. You settled here without even asking those who lived here for their opinion on the matter. That's true. Instead of talking about harmony, start taking action to really make it happen. But that is precisely what we desire more than anything. Oh, we may have been a bit clumsy in the beginning, a but bit? we'll make sure to improve things in the future. A bit? You really were a great help. I would be most grateful if you agreed to continue helping us. Hold on. I might come back at some point, but alas, I am very busy. Naturally. Either way. We are certainly capable of continuing our research without you. Hey. Actually, I must go back to my work. Our next expedition must depart as soon as possible. Your next expedition? Huh? Our brave researchers must continue to follow the tracks of our founder on this island. In the meantime, here, take this as a token of gratitude for the help you gave us. Thank you. I hope your expedition will be a success. Sure. Oh. Okay. Theological conflicts follow. Wait for the results of the research for the rest to the main quest. Okay. Fine. I did not want anything to do with them anyways. Okay. Next quest I'm gonna do. Ugh. It's dangerous bets. With Petrus. Petrus, talk to me. I need to speak with you, my child. Talk. Yes, Petrus. What is it? I've come up with a plan to put what we've learned about the Mother Cardinal to use. I like that Detail. idea. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. Okay. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. Uh -huh. That would effectively raise the odds, but the risk is they'll bet against me. That may That's be the case. The best thing? But the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual moneylender is unavailable. <laughs> Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. Nice. And she will be at our mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Telemi? I like it. This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? I am in. I really like this idea. It's a complicated plan. But an effective one. Let's put it in motion. Let's go back to the Saint Matthias bookmaker. Your skills seem to interest him. My skills. My skills seem to be needed in this endeavor. I she, I she. That's very nice. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. He has a lot of scorn. And I like his plans. So, yeah. I'm going to do his quest and uh, see where he goes. I bet it's gonna be fun. I bet. Hey, you despicable, despicable coin guards that tried to do a coup d'etat on the entire island. How the hell are you doing? 
Good. Good. Because your commander is donezo. Anywho, speak to San Mateo's fight organizer. Good day. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? Yup. Ask about the betting. On what would we be betting? On the fights in the arena. You know, oh, I, I, a few. I, I already did this on a previous episode. Okay, ask to challenge the champion. I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. Nope. No. No one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah. That sounds better. It's I true, fooled you. you. Have talent and the public does like you. Let me think. There is Briscard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up for him. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. And he's a killer. I'm warning you. Okay, fine. This Briscard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal? Yeah. I'll work on getting things ready for the combat and line up the betting. Cool. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're Even ready, better. you just need to go and see the arena master. We should go and see Candy Cane so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. Nice. I like that idea very much. Petrus. I'm gonna keep calling you Petrus. Is that okay with you? Probably. Candy Cane is not here. At least not yet. Oh. Remember, my child. The bookmaker told us that he hangs around here at night. Right. That's true. You were right. Let's come back later. Right. Can I meditate? I don't. I don't really want to go all around the streets to my residence and. Uh, fine, I guess. They are not witchers, I see. They are diplomats. So, I guess that makes sense. They can't meditate for. Hey, Iced. All right, I'll be back at night. Okay, I guess. We'll make it hey, what the hell are you all doing here? Let's go. What the hell are you all doing here? Bam! <laughs> Triple kill! You dodged in the wrong side, Baba. Wow, that was awesome. Triple kill. I really like it. I really like it a lot. Anywho, give me your she. I want your she. More of you. More. <laughs> I think that was Vasco trying to. Uh, Lamb out. Lamb out. Both of you dead. I freaking love the great sword. I freaking love it. It hits multiple enemies instead of that crappy saber that I had before at the beginning. Ah, uh, jeez, that crappy saber. Anywho. That's not my problem anymore because I have a great sword. So, you again. You again? <laughs> what do you want this time? Uh, let Petrus intervene. Why so defensive? Petrus, you had a proposal to make, I believe. That's right. I've thought of a little scheme that could make us all very rich. You know me, so you also know I'm quite clever. And that my ideas are always fruitful. You have a reputation of being a first-class manipulator. <laughs> Wait. At least listen to our proposal. You really take me for an idiot. Gentlemen, teach them not to mess with me again. Okay, it's force then. Maybe it's like By force, I cannot see shit. Okay, that was not my fault. That was not my fault. I freaking got hit and... The, the, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna force them again, because that was bullshraha. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. The camera went outside of a wall. That's not, that's, no. No, no, no. 
I will not Here take that. Taste my saber. God damn it. Oh well. What the hell just happened? You bitch! You bitch! What the heck? One hit kill? Are you crazy? Are you kidding me? Oh, that was such a good... Okay, that, that was... Wait, you really... Okay, two versus one. That's fine, that's fine. Two versus one. You're dead. Your commander is dead, you bitch. How are we going to influence Cornelia's beds without candy cane? Have faith, my child. Let's start by searching the body. We will find a way. Okay. I just Let's search the bodies of Candy Cane and I just wanted to do this because I wanted to prove that I could do it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep loading the save and try to convince him with uh, Petrus. So yeah, I just I just wanted to do this because I was I uh, I was uh you uh was just trying to prove that I could do it. That's all. Why is it that's wrong? You know, and that my. They do say that you are devious. Perhaps too much so for your own good. Go on. Go on. My friend here loves the glory and sand of the arena. I've gained quite a reputation. But soon I'll be taking on a true champion. I am no fool, though. I know I won't hold up for long. Yeah? I've seen the odds. Everyone expects you to lose within a minute. So what? Let us suppose that our champion is a little less aggressive than usual. If the fight can last at least five minutes, an informed better would win the jackpot. And I'd keep a little of my pride. Very well. I'll arrange it. But no dirty tricks. I wouldn't dare. Don't take advantage of the deal and try to beat the champion. If you do, he'll wipe the floor with you. You want to get your money. Don't get too greedy. Uh, wait for the fight to take place. So I need to purposely lose. I mean, to last five minutes. God damn it, I need to go to my house again, don't I? Oh god. This alleyway sucks. Like, anywho. I did prove that. I could do it, and I did it, on my, uh, I don't know, on my fifth try or sixth try, I don't know, but that was because the great sword guy was like, two hit kill, which is kind of bullshlacha, because it takes like, nine hits from my great sword to kill them, but hey, I wanted this difficulty, right? Yes, I did. Uh, unfortunately, I did. Defeat the champion. Do I? Do I really need to defeat the champion? Didn't he just say specifically not to beat the champion? Eh, I'll beat the champion. Don't worry about that. Wipe the flow with me? <laughs> You're making threats that you can't keep. Come on, do you know who I am? Really? Do you really know who I am? I don't think so. And that's the best part about this operation. They do not know who I am. That's the best part. Ah, jeebus. I think a bone cracked within my leg. Anywho. I'm gonna save. 
just in case I screw something up. And then speak with the arena master. Ready to excite the crowd? Sure. Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. That's fine. Your friends must remain in the stands. Just how I like it. Yes, I am ready. So, jump into the arena. And may the better fighter win. 1v1. Here we go. 1v1. Come on. Oh, God. Great sword versus great sword. Come on, let's go. Come on. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Really? Is that all you got? Wow. What a brilliant spectacle. One on one is easy. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. It wasn't easy. <laughs> For sure. And here are your winnings from the combat. <laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. Yep. I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelia seems to do you wonders. <laughs> that is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game. And just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. It wasn't I imagine that satisfying. we need to go and see her now. Yes, and I hope you will enjoy the moments every bit as much as I will. I hope so. That wasn't even a challenge. Like I like I said, one on one, easy. But it's when you're fighting against a group. But the good thing about this game is that you can parry and block. That means is you if you fail pairing, you have a you have a smaller window to block the complete attack. So you can try and try and try and try and try again. So that was awesome. That's always awesome. So <laughs> I'm going to my to surprise. My esteemed guest. I mean, my esteemed whatever the hell I'm going to surprise. Oh, Cornelia, I might say I have some dirt on your face. <laughs> or your not well pronounced cleavage, my I'd say. <laughs> Lady de Sade. And you, Petrus. Surprise. What can I do for you? Surprise. We have come to offer our support. We have learned that the arena was cruel to you. How do you know that? Oh, I see. You tricked my informer. Yes. We just let him believe that I would lose. All I did was take the place of your moneylender. You owe me a handsome sum. <laughs> All of this just to make me spill the beans, am I right? Yeah. I didn't expect you to play this kind of game, Your Excellency. It is true, though, that with such a teacher... Oh, come on, Cornelia. You excel at this game. It's true. And I also know when to admit defeat. What do you want from me? Money. This. We won't use what we know of you, nor what you owe us. So long as you act loyally towards the congregation and Constantine. Is that clear? Uh, that's fine, too. Is that what you're expecting? Ah, uh, but I'm sure that this sly old fox has something else in mind, right? <laughs> you hope that I'll support you when you court the rank of cardinal? You haven't learnt your lesson, then. Have you forgotten the abyss into which you plunged because of your ambition last time? Petrus, what's she talking about? Cornelia, you don't have the right to use that against me to disclose what I revealed to you that day. It was said under the seal of the Enlightened, it's true. But if someone deserves to know, it's her. No, please. Since you have no intention of speaking... Tell me. I will. Petrus knew your mother, child. Your real mother. I see. My... My mother? Petrus, is it true? How? Be damned, Cornelia. It's true. 
I knew your mother. Really? How I was she? I used to go to the jail to give my spiritual support to the prisoners of the Prince d'Orsay. That's where I met her. She was alone, afraid, and exhausted. And so strange. Obviously, okay. I had no way of knowing that she came from here. The princes kept their secret well. Why didn't you tell me about it? You know that my uncle lied to me and you kept quiet. I... I was ashamed. Ashamed of having left her to die in that dead-end pit. Completely alone. Why talk to others about it then? Why does she know? One evening, in a fit of despair, Petrus felt the need to share this great burden with someone. At the time, you were the ear of the enlightened Cornelia. You have broken your vows. Ah, oh, damnation! It's better out in the open. I've wanted to tell you about it since I met you. Now that you know, I want to do something in her memory. I will help you find your family here on the island. They're still alive? The prince sent you here to use you. But I can ensure that all of this serves a purpose. How could I possibly believe you now? Hey, come on, Desarde. Come you on. You have used me for your scheming and have kept me in the dark. I understand how you feel, my child. Let's wait a little until you've taken it all in. Time heals the wounds of the soul. Come back and see me when you are ready. As for you, Cornelia, remember what we have on you. You no longer have the upper hand. Be careful, Desarde. You now see the real Petrus, sly and opportunistic. I like that in a companion. So, too bad for you. I don't have any beef with uh, Petrus. Like, fine. Everybody keeps secrets. Everybody does. No one is exempt from uh, from keeping secrets. So. Let's see here. Petrus, can I talk to you right now? My dear child, what can I do for you? Uh, yeah. I will see you later. Take uh, later, 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 later. So, it's, uh, I mean, for me, it, it's fine. But the Sarde, I get why she is mad, because it is her mother. Like, this, uh, this game doesn't have a mother for me, <laughs> so yeah, I cannot relate, but yeah, I get why she's mad, that's all, I, that's all I'm saying, but you know, if it was for me to decide if she should be mad or not, I would decide to not be mad at him. Alright, scholars in the expedition, find the scholars expedition camp. Righty O, here we go. This valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition. Yeah, we will, but uh hi <laughs> Good news, I got a new weapon. Did you see it on my back? Yep. I got a new weapon. I bought it from this merchant. So I'm gonna go to the blacksmith, upgrade my weapon and then come back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I uh, I switched great swords again because the other great sword that I had on my back was better on attack, on physical attack and speed. It was actually faster, so that means the great sword depends on the type that it is. Like a heavy great sword or a light great sword and blah blah blah. Ah, that's very interesting. So, yeah, I switched to this one because I don't know. It just looks cooler for me. It's slower, but it has more armor break than the other great sword. But yeah. 
Okay, enough about me. I'm going to find the Scholar's Expedition Camp. On my way. I'm close by, I'm close by. I'm 30 meters away from the search area. Here I am. And I s Oh, I see a cart. I see tents. Over there. Oh. Tents. This must be the expedition's camp. This is a rather conspicuous place to set up camp. There's been signs of a fight over here. There are lances, there is uh, native magic, like those trees. Signs of combat. Yeah. They were attacked. By the look of the tents and the campfire, it dates back several days. It seems that they were taken prisoner. I don't see any bodies. True. They were moved someplace else, that's for sure. Anyways, this is magic from the natives. No weapon leaves this sort of marking. Perhaps they're wielding magic. Yes. It is the art of the Donai Gada. One of the valley clans was here. Would you know which one? One who fights against the invasion of the peoples from your island. I can be sure of nothing more. <laughs> Why would they attack scholars? They are not warriors. They come here as conquerors. This is enough. But they were not killed. Warriors would have been. But we don't see any bodies around here anyways. So they might have be, uh, You know, taken away. Examine. These are herbs, right? This looks like scientific equipment. This must be the Lost Expeditions campsite. Huh. It must be. Alright, next. Any more clues? The book. A book pierced by a lance. Note from the leader of the expedition. Uh -uh, let me get my voice ready. This globular... <laughs> I already messed up. Globular root has a dense and firm texture. The smell that emerges from it, it is strong and vigorous. I have observed several animals consuming it without any noticeable effect. Hence, it is likely to be edible. I wouldn't need that if I were you. A distillation in laboratory should be more conclusive. Afra has decided to move her tent further away. She says that our constant uh, cackling prevents her from focusing. This young woman is talented, but I understand why her master dismissed her. She has had a bad temper. This species of bird is heavily represented in the valley. They have proven to be incredibly curious. They come close to us that we could touch them. The natives must not hunt them, otherwise they'd be more prudent. And yet, their flesh is exquisite. It must be related to their beliefs. This native, this naive people may consider them to be sacred. This looks like the journal of a naturalist. There are sketches of flora and fauna. There is no doubt. We are definitely on the trail of the lost expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. Afra. Let's see what we can discover. Yeah. Find trace of the naturalist. Ahead of me, I see. Oh, what is this? Another... No, that's just a patch of light. Anywho. This is blood. A trail of blood. That cannot be good. No. Follow it. That cannot be good at all. Oh god. <laughs> Another trail of blood surrounded by all these beasts. I wonder why. More blood. We are on the right path. Keep going. And sneak attack. Win now! There you go. Just for you. <laughs> Ow! Ow, knocked out. I've been knocked. You've been knocked. I've been knocked. You have not been knocked, but we'll die. Ow, I've been knocked. God damn it. I suck. I suck at combat, I swear. I swear. I suck. Anywho, I did not die anyways, so I guess that makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, a body. Oh, well, that's a warrior. 
A corpse. From the bridge, The yeah. clothes cannot be mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he has been dead for days. As we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. This Maybe. man traded his life for all the suffering of my people. He was only a scholar. A sage. Not a warrior on the battlefield. Do you think my people see a difference when bridgemen steal our people from their beds? From who do you think? All the clans hide dead children. I lean towards Siora's point of view. The practices of these scholars, so-called seekers of knowledge, are barbaric. Teleme would offer you protection and support. In exchange for our souls. Exactly. I think we would prefer to go to war. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. This is quite the combination of companions I have with me. <laughs> quite the combination. So, Siora arised a very, very, very good point. Where the hell are the children in this game? I have never seen them ever. Where are they hiding? Maybe they're hiding uh, on the cellars, maybe, you know, just put them there in cages, in jails, like juvenile prison, like, you won't go out of there until you grow up, because the game doesn't allow uh, kid textures and meshes and animations. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe that's what they do. Anyway, search. Travel chess key. The sins of Father Beatrice. I do not want to do that right now. But I do want to unlock the chest. Here is the isolated camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer here. Mm. Its position would have allowed them to escape the attack. The view over the valley is magnificent and makes it difficult for an enemy to approach without being seen. That's true, so this was Afra's camp, I see. Anywho, I have the key. I have the travel chest key. I have been here before, by the way. I just remembered this little patch of area with the chest that I couldn't open before. Diary of a certain Afra. We set up a small camp in the hollow of the valley. We wish to study. The flora in this place is incredibly luxuriant. This island is the only place where so many different species can be found next to one another. With so many varieties, we are bound to find an antidote to the Malicor. Ah, she's the one I'm looking for. This plant with its blue efflorescence and jagged leaves is unlike any plant I have knowledge of. I will have to lead some experiment to determine if it contains active essences. It is a shame that we cannot exchange with the native. They must know the properties of all the plants, but the soldiers warned us. They told us that we wouldn't trust the islanders. Apparently, they're very aggressive in this region. I wonder why. Our arrival in this valley did not go unnoticed. I feel as if we're being observed, most likely by the islanders. I hope that they understand that we're not here to fight, but merely to catalog the flora. The impressions of being observed is becoming increasingly obnoxious. They are very close, I can feel it. I'm afraid we should expect an attack. We have so few weapons and my colleagues are barely capable of defending themselves. I am certain that we are being observed from the swamp. If they attack the, if they attack us, this is where they will most likely come from. I have tried to warn my companions, to tell them uh, to be more discreet, but they refuse to listen. Well, that's their mistake. Too bad. It is a journal, that of a woman from the expedition, a certain Afra. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops in mid-sentence. These people of the bridge have either just hatched from eggs or are complete idiots. <laughs> My people are at war. They do not spare an enemy under pretext that they are not wearing the clothing of soldiers. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will surely lead us to the party of intrepid scholars. 
This woman was right to fear the Donea Eggs Regal. They must have followed this path coming from the swamp. This is where we should go if we want to find these lion scholars. Good. That's very, very good. Now we, uh, we have a destination. Uh, here. Right. Is this a swamp? Oh, right. Okay. I did not take it for a swamp, but okay. Okay, I'm gonna speak to Petrus before I end this I'm episode. I'm happy you came to find me. Allow me to apologize once again. It's fine. I should have spoken to you sooner, told you what I knew, and not betrayed your trust. Indeed, you should have. Don't do it again. As I said, I'd like to make up for it and help you find your family again. Really? How do you intend to do that? As you now know, I knew your mother. We had trouble communicating at first, of course, but we gradually learned to understand one another. She was important in her village, based on what I know today. I think she was a Donegad. She told me her name, Arelwyn, and told me about her family. Okay. She even gave me a pendant for you. You were only a child, so I gave it to Mrs. De Sade for safekeeping. She gave me a necklace when I went to say goodbye to her. She said it was a family heirloom. Did my mother tell you the name of her village? No. But I'm sure the Norts can help us. They were the ones who took your mother to the continent. Really? It was such a long time ago. How can I find out if they remember? The Norts record everything down to the gentlest breeze. <laughs> Yeah. They must have written something in a logbook somewhere. Wow. So, do you want to try and find out where you come from? Do you want to find your relatives? Sure. Sure. I said. Yes. All this is so new to me. But I suppose so. Yes. Let's go then. Let's go. But not now, because right now I am doing a quest, a main quest, about find the naturalists in the swamps. So, next episode, I'm still going to go look in the swamps for the, uh, for the Afra. Yeah, I think her name was Afra. Yeah. Very unique name. I shall not forget it. Probably I will, because I forget, forgot Siora, Petrus, and all that jazz. So, long episode, a lot of things happened, but I'm still going with the main story for now, and then going to look after for my family when I'm done looking for Afra. So, I don't know what progress I am in the game. I don't know how much there is left in the game, but I think there is a lot. This game wasn't 20 gigabytes for nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. I still got a lot to go. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video. I hope to see you on the next one. And have a good night.